everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel, Smile by Holly. It's great to have you here. If you're new, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you here. So today, I'm so excited. We are going to be making what's called a never ending mini album. And basically, this it just never ends. It keeps opening and flipping and folding and turning. And anyway, I'm so excited to show you how fun this is. And let's do a quick flip through of the album. And then we're just gonna go step by step and make this together, okay? So let me show you how fun. You've got the front cover and then that opens up and it opens up to a darling little three page layout. Now certainly you could add photos or journaling. Then that closes and then it opens up here. And this opens up to our very first card. So this card pulls out and you've got a cute little two page layout there. And then you've got a card, you know, whether you want to write some journaling or put photos in your card, you know, you can do whatever. And then this card just slips down inside. And then we open it up and here's your second card. So once again, you've got a cute little two page layout with your second card. And then that folds back in and then this opens up and now we've got another three page layout. So fun and that folds over and then this opens up to our third card. So this third card pulls out. Once again, you have the cute two page layout and then a third card and then that folds in. And then we're to our very last three page layout. You've got the three sections that folds over, that folds over, and you're back to the front. Isn't that just so fun? So fun and so interactive. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what you will need is you're going to need six envelopes and then six cards. And for my cards that pull out, I actually used a colored card. But for my other three cards, I just used a white card because basically you're going to be covering it with cardstock anyway. So whatever you'd like, but I used three cards that were colored and three cards that were plain. Now, let me just start by saying these mini albums, I'm just kind of giving you the base I did because if I were to tell you the measurements for you know, what the cardstock that sits on top of these, it's all gonna be different because there are so many different size envelopes out there. So basically I'm just kind of giving you the idea of how to make it and then I'll let you figure out, you know, the, the actual size of the embellishments and the cardstock that you would sit on top of it. You know, this could be made with a five by seven envelope, a four by six envelope, an eight by eight envelope. I mean, you get the point. So I'm not gonna actually be giving you exact measurements. I'll let you figure those out because it's all going to be dependent on the size of your envelope. But once you have the concept down, you know, you can make it with any size. And I've made mine with a cute Halloween flavor, but this would be so cute decorated for Christmas or Easter or summer or, you know, whatever. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now, one thing is I found this package of envelopes at Michael's. It has all different assorted colors and basically you get 80 sets. So 80 sets and this was only $5. I mean, what? a freaking amazing deal. I was so excited when I saw this and it came with just tons of different colors. So that's what I am using today. But let's just start, let's go ahead and you'll wanna once again get six envelopes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I will go ahead and tell you what size my envelopes are. My envelopes are four and a half, by five and a half. So four and a half by five and a half. That's what mine are. But like I say, you can do this with any size. Now I'm gonna divide my envelopes in sets of two, 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 and two. So we're gonna take our first two envelopes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two flaps and we are just going to glue those together, okay? So let's get some glue on these. Now you can use adhesive or glue, pretty much, you know, whichever you would like. I'm just gonna use some glitter glue today. And we'll line up 
these two envelopes and I'm just kind of going to set them up, make sure I've got those together. And there is our first little page set. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to set that aside. Now we want to do it with the other two sets. So get your tabs. Now these tabs, they come in, you know, the shape like this, or there's some envelopes that are just straight across. It works for both. You know, so like I say, any envelope basically works as long as you have six of them. And then the cards that fit down inside of them. So let's do our second little set. Make sure those line up nice and good. There is our second one. See the little, they're hooked together just by that middle section. So let's do our last one, our third set. So how are you guys doing today? I was so excited to come on and show you this album. When I made it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is just fun. I love the, the never ending aspect of this. It just keeps going and keeps flipping and turning and it's just so fun and interactive. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm laying those down, making sure that it is even. Open it up. Okay, so we have our three little sets. Now, we're just gonna start with the first two. We're gonna take the first two and we're gonna flip the second one over and we're going to lay this one on top and glue it down. What you want is you want that pocket to be on top, okay? So I'm just gonna add some glue onto this. Like I say, we're just going nice and slow, easy peasy. I'm gonna lay this down on top. Now all of these envelopes are the same size, so if you're just real careful, it's going to just match up perfectly. So we've got our first two. We've got the pocket right here, and if you were to flip it over, we've got that flap here. So this flip here, this flap here, and this flap here on the back, okay? Now we're gonna take our third one, and we're gonna lay it on top. Once again, we want that pocket right here um, facing up. Okay, so we're going to add some glue on here. Okay, and we're going to lay our envelope down, just kind of line it up. And I like to kind of flip it over to make sure the whole album is staying lined up. So if we flip it up this way, as you can see, We've got this top part here, then the second page is in the back, and then this page is back here. You kind of see how that lines up? So let's lay it down. Now this is where we're going to bring in um, our first three sets of cards. And like I say, for this section, I like to use just plain white cards because basically you're going to be covering them up with some colored cardstock. So I'm just using white. So we'll take our first card, and we're just going to lay it down here and this is going to lay on top. This is going to make, do you see our three page flip out? So let's get some glue right here. And we're gonna add our first just white page. We're gonna just butt it up to the edge there and fold that flap down on top. Now. You won't see this flap once we get the cardstock on. So you're not gonna see the, the little hole here. There's gonna be cardstock here, cardstock here, and cardstock here. So you're not gonna see that. This is just going to make for our three page flip out. Okay, so we've got our first card on. Let's take our second card. And once again, we're just going to lay that flap down over the top, okay? Now, once again, as you're making this, there are so many variations. So you might go, oh my gosh, I could do this here or this here. You certainly can. There's a lot of different ways. So this is just kind of to get you started thinking about all the fun things that you could do. Okay, and then that makes our second little three page flip out. Okay, now let's flip this over to the back and we are going to do our last one. So I hope I haven't confused you, but here, those are the two fronts. Now we've just flipped it over to the back 
and I'm going to add, you can add it either on this side or on this side. It really just does not matter. So we're just basically adding our three plain pieces of cardstock, not cardstock, I'm sorry, cards. We'll get that down there good. And then that is the base of our little album. So let's fold this in and I will show you. Okay, push that down. Now there's a lot of white going on here, so let's just go nice and slow and I'll show you as we open it, we've got our cute three page layout. Okay, that folds. Now, like I say, there's a lot of different ways you could actually add a card here if you wanted. There could be so many cards in this little mini album, but so I am actually just going to be covering that up so I do have my three page layout. Okay, let's do this as we open it up. So, We've got this, okay? And then that is going to be our cute little three page, okay? We'll fold that over. Now we're gonna open it up here. So open it up. And this is where our first card is going to come in. So let's just put a card in. I'm actually not going to embellish this mini album that I'm making. I'm just kind of giving you the basis so you know how to make the album. So I hope that's okay, you kind of get the point. But then this card will actually flip out right here. Okay, so you'll be decorating this part and this part, and then this card will just kind of slide out. Okay, does that make sense? So then we'll open up this. Okay, we open up this, and this is where our second card is going to go. So let's flip a card down in here. And once again, you'll be adding cardstock here and here. Do you see how that cardstock is there and there? And then this card is just flipped down inside. So there's that. And then there's our little card. Okay. Then this folds over. And then here is our, uh, our third three piece, piece layout. So that opens up just right, just like this, open, open, and then open. And there's our three cute little pages. Okay, that folds over, that folds over, and that folds over. And then we open it up again. And this is where our third card goes in. Okay, so you'll have this part with cardstock this card with cardstock, and you don't want to seal this because this is where the card actually goes down in, okay? Then that opens up, and this is our last three page layout. That opens up, and then one, two, and three. And that folds in, and that folds over, and that folds over, and you're back to the front. So I hope that was clear enough. You know, like I say, there's a whole bunch of different other places where you could add another card. If you didn't wanna seal this up and have a three page layout, you could certainly add a fourth card. So you could just have this be a lot of different cards. Now, basically, there could be so many that I had to say at some point, okay, that's enough. So that's how I've done it. But let's just walk through it one more time. You've got the front cover that opens up to the cute three page layout. Then that opens up, you have your first pull out card. Okay, the pull out card with the two page layout. Then that opens up, here's our second card that pulls out and pulls back in, pushes back in. That opens up to our second three page layout. That folds over. Here we have our third card. Pulls out. Like I said, I'm using a cute doodle bug collection. It's a combination between Candy Carnival and Ghost Town, if you're wondering. And then we have our last three page layout. That folds over, that folds over, and we're back to the front. So anyway, I hope that this helps. If you need to go back and rewind the video just to go nice and slow, 
uh, do that. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. But once again, as you're making it, just know that there are so many variations and that's what makes mini albums so much fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's just such a darling, fun little Halloween album. Um, I really do appreciate your support being here and uh, watching my videos. And if you got some value out of this video or you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love it if you would like to subscribe to my channel. So I hope you have a fun day crafting and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.